Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Notes from the Sewing Room. My name's Becky. My channel is all about my sewing, dressmaking and craft adventures. So if that's something that interests you, please do um, like this video and check out some of my other content. Today's video is all about a gap that I've decided that I have in my wardrobe. So I've decided I want to um, correct that gap and uh, come up with um, something new to make. So what is the gap? The gap is I don't have a dressing gown to wear. So a dressing gown I, uh, is something that you know I, I like so there's no particular reason that I don't have a dressing gown in my wardrobe. So I've been thinking about you know what pattern can I use and that kind of thing. So I, I've dug through my pattern stash and I've come up with one which is here um, that I have actually made before for my husband uh, but that was probably a couple of years ago so I'm going to make one for myself which I think is going to be super helpful for just wearing generally, but also um, taking to the hospital when I have my baby as well. As you can see, I am in a slightly different location today. If you are someone that's visited my channel before, um, I decided to film this video out in my summer house as it's such, such a nice day today. I just thought, why not? Let's get outside and um, I can show off uh, the bunting that's above me as well and uh, a sign just to my side here um, that my sister-in-law made for um, a little kind of um, family get together that we had recently to celebrate us um, having a baby soon. So um, yeah, that's really nice. Anyway, I'm not going to go off the point. I'm going to stick to uh, what today's video is all about. So I've decided to make the Gather Patterns Buchanan dressing gown. So um, this is a dressing gown that comes in sizes small, medium and large. So um, there's not a huge um, size variety there, I guess. Uh, but it does say that it's for ambitious beginners. Um, as I mentioned, I have made this video once before. Um, I did actually buy a kit uh, when this um, pattern was released originally and I uh, made a version for my husband in a slightly longer um, version than actually comes in the pattern pack because this one is uh, rather short if I'm honest. I will try and put some pictures in of uh, the, the version that I made for my husband as well so you can see um, the variations of different fabrics. So um, I'll just tell you a little bit about this pattern if you are unfamiliar with it. Um, I do quite like Gather Patterns, they've got a couple of other uh, patterns in their series so I would recommend you go and check out their website and some of their other patterns if you are unfamiliar with it. Um, the Mortmain dress is one that I've made quite a few times and I really like it from their series of patterns. So um, the Buchanan, it says, is a relaxed dressing gown that features a three-quarter length sleeve option. Um, it has a neckband, side slits, um, a sash tie to the waist and hanging loop. So there's two different pocket variations. I'm actually going to go for the patch pockets rather than the inseam pockets this time. Um, I'm not normally a patch pockets type of person for some reason, but I just thought, why not? I'm going to give it a go. I think it'll be fun to mix two different types of fabric um, using um, the patch pockets on the front of the dressing gown. So um, I thought in this video, I'm going to show you the fabric that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to show you um, what I've done so far, and then I'm going to kind of guide you through the process of how I'm making the dressing gown. So I hope you enjoy watching and enjoy learning about um, the process of, of what I'm doing today day. Um, in terms of um, the finished garment measurements, um, if you are making uh, the size small, which is size 8 to 10, um, then it gives you uh, the length on here, so it would be finishing at 88 centimetres. I've actually decided to make the size large, uh, mainly because I had the size large uh, cut out already, so that size is 16 to 18. Um, because I made the pattern originally for my husband, I needed it to have that little bit of extra wiggle room in there, because obviously he has a, a wider uh, chest than me, and uh, you know wider shoulders, um, and everything like that. So because I've already got the large cut out, um, I just, I'm gonna go ahead and make that for myself um, if I had been cutting it out from scratch I probably would have gone for the size medium um, but I kind of think a dressing gown is one of those things that it doesn't matter if there is extra room in it um, I quite like the idea of there being extra fabric just to kind of wrap around myself so um, yeah I don't know if you agree with me but yeah leave me a comment below and and, and let me know what your thoughts are on um, dressing gowns and them being a bit oversized but I love an oversized dressing gown so 
why not? I'm going to make the size large in this case. So if you are going to make the size large, then um, the uh, finished length is 90 centimeters. So um, for me, I think that that's a little bit short. I just wanted it to be slightly longer so that, you know, through the, the cooler months, um, I don't feel like my legs are too exposed and that kind of thing. And particularly uh, when I wear my dressing gown in hospital, um, I've got a couple of button down nighties that I've bought um, to go to uh, the hospital with. And I think it would be quite nice to have a dressing gown that comes slightly longer. So I'm crossing my fingers that I managed to get this project finished um, before I actually um, go into hospital for um, the birth of my baby. Um, I'm almost 38 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this video. So I guess the baby could come any time, uh, but uh, we shall uh, wait and see uh, when he decides to make an appearance. Um, so um, I've decided that I'm gonna add some extra length to this pattern. Um, I did actually post on my Instagram um, and you, you can find me on Instagram if you, if you don't follow me there already, um, at notes from the sewing room. Um, that I was going to make this uh, dressing gown, the Buchanan, and uh, someone did comment um, that they'd added extra length to it as well. So I'm going to add um, eight inches onto the sleeves um, because the sleeve is supposed to be a, a three quarter length arm, but um, I've decided that I'd like to make it more of a, a longer sleeve. It does have a cuff on it as well, um, but I am going to um, extend that, uh, that arm piece. Um, and I'm also going to add 10 inches onto uh, the length of the actual dress gown as well um, just so that like I say it gives me a little bit more um, coverage and I just feel a bit more com confident and comfortable in it I think so um, I shall let you know how I go um, I'm gonna cut out the dressing gown now um, and then I shall be back to uh, let you know what I've done so far but before I go I'm just going to show you what fabric I'm going to use so I've got two different fabrics here so I've got this lovely pink one which is just a plain um, pink quilting cotton I actually bought this when I was on holiday I think last year um, and I've not had a chance to have a use of it yet so I just thought why not I'm going to give that a go I've got two meters of that but it was only 45 wide so um or it is only 45 wide should I say so um yeah it'd be nice to use that I thought for like all the trim bits on the dressing gown so the bit that goes round here the cuffs uh, the top of the pockets that kind of thing so that's going to be really nice and then also um I've got some blue um cotton poplin here uh, which has been gifted to me by Minerva Crafts so if I just hold that up to the screen you'll be able to see it um, so it's a lovely floral cotton poplin um, and I think um, the colours are going to work really nicely together. This does have a little bit of pink in the flowers which I thought would work really well with the quilting cotton that I've just shown you. So um, I'm just going to cut it all out and then I shall be back to show you what I've done. Right, I've now cut out my project and I've decided to pin it all together. I don't know if you ever do that, but sometimes I think that it saves time when you're actually sewing it on the sewing machine to actually pin um, different bits together that you are gonna have to sew um, you know at a, a later time perhaps in the in the pattern instructions I'm not someone that actually completely follows instructions if I'm honest um, I know that's a little bit naughty but um, you know I, I'm, I'm a fairly confident sewer so I tend to just kind of get on with what I think um, you know I need to do particularly if I have made a project like this one before and as I said I have made this before even though it was a couple of years ago I do kind of remember uh, the process of what you have to do so um, as I said I've added that little bit of extra length onto the sleeves so I've got those cut out there so I've added that extra eight inches down there I think they're gonna look really really nice um, so that's good um, in terms of the patch pockets um, I've actually um, decided to use the pink for the uh, for the top band on the pocket um, the pockets are actually inside out at the moment so uh, forgive me um, but yeah, so they're gonna basically have pink at the top and then the blue at the bottom on the patch pockets. So I think they're gonna look really nice. And then um, as I said, I'm going to have the neck band in the pink. So that's all cut out. Uh, I've decided to um, pin that all together. So um, I've got that. So basically you have two pieces for the neck band. So you're joining it at the center back and then it will obviously flow all the way down to the bottom of the dressing gown. Um, so I've pinned that together, so that's ready to go. Um, I think that's gonna be um, really nice and it'll give the dressing gown a bit of pop, you know, just when you kind of 
um, see it and whatnot. Not that loads of people see me in a dressing gown, but I shall see it and I shall feel nice in it hopefully. So um, that will be really nice. Um, and then um, I've also decided to do the um, the belt in the pink as well, um, as I think that will be lovely. And then I've also um, cut out the um, the front and back pieces of um, the the main bodice. So if I just hold this up now, you should be able to see it. And I've actually pinned in place where the uh, the hanging loop should go, because I don't know about you, but sometimes if you aren't necessarily following the instructions, and as I said, I know that's a little bit naughty, uh, but I can sometimes forget like little details, like putting in the hanging loop. So um, yeah, so I've, I've decided to pin that on there. So I'm all ready to go for uh, the sewing process. So I'll keep you posted on how I'm going with that. Um, um, I don't know if you just heard a little sneeze, but my Labrador Bentley is just down here um, in his bed. So um, hopefully you might get to see him later on in this video um, if he decides he wants to come and sit next to me. Um, but um, at the moment he's just kind of um, relaxing in his uh, bed that I've got out here for him. Um, but anyway, I shall be back in a while and show you how I'm getting on. Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to give you an update on where I am with the dressing gown project at the moment. It's coming together really, really well. Well, if you are looking for um, a dressing gown project to do and you don't want something that's going to take too long I would say that so far it's taken me about two hours so that includes um, you know doing all the pinning and the bits on my sewing machine and whatnot I've not quite finished it but I, I am hopefully going to finish it today so cross fingers I just wanted to let you know where I am with it at the moment so um, I've now pinned on all of the um, the front um neck band area and everything but the the two colors that i've chosen are, are just working so beautifully together i think so i just wanted to um give you a bit of an update so um as i mentioned earlier in the video i have added on some patch pockets to this video uh, which you can to, to this video <laughs> i mean to this um dressing gown as you can probably see just here um and i've added on the the pink little uh, top section there which I just think just really brings out the pink that's actually in the flowers in the floral section um, so that works really well um, one thing that I'd forgotten about this dressing gown is that it's got really really wide sleeves so I don't know if you can see how wide they are um, I could take those in of course but I'm actually thinking it might be quite nice because at the moment the weather's still fairly warm so I mean that I can get extra um, you know air up there because I am feeling a little bit warmer in myself at the moment than I usually am but also coming into the the cooler months it will maybe mean that I can wear a jumper under there as well if I wanted to uh, when perhaps I'm getting up in the middle of the night uh, to, to the baby etc so um, that's good and then I've got the um, the belt all pinned together here as well so that's going to be a lovely um, long belt um, to wrap around me and hopefully tie in a lovely bow so I shall sew that together next and um, finish off the rest of the bits and pieces and then I'll be back to show you the final no garment. I finished it I can't believe it so I've made this project in just one afternoon so if you are looking for a, a dressing gown project that's fairly speedy to sew up then this is the one so I'm um, just a reminder it's the Buchanan dressing gown by gather patterns and it comes with a lovely instruction book um, as I said earlier in the video I'm sometimes a little bit naughty and don't really follow the instructions um, but if you are someone that does like to follow things step by step then you know you have that option um, and uh, you can definitely do that it comes with a lovely instruction booklet um, it's on really nice paper um, to be honest as well the, uh, the the pattern pieces are also on a really nice quality paper so whether you're the type of person that decides to trace your patterns off or um, you, you cut them um it's you know obviously up to you um i decided to uh, cut this one uh, but sometimes i decide to trace it just depends what mood i'm in if i'm honest but i'm so pleased with how it's come together it's got these lovely wide sleeves um which i'm quite pleased with and i just think that the two colors just work so well together i think the bright pink just really kind of pops out and i absolutely love these patch pockets that are just on the front here as well so 
I'm going to add in some footage of me um, twirling around in the dressing gown as well so that you can actually see it kind of moving around on my body. Um, but yeah, I'm so pleased with it. So um, definitely give it a go if you are um, thinking that you might have a gap in your wardrobe um, similar to what I uh, did. So, um, but that's it for today's video. If you have enjoyed watching, then please do um, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And um, any comments about what you think of my dressing gown or uh, if you you've perhaps tried another dressing gown pattern that you really um, enjoyed um, then I'd love to hear about that as well but until next time I'll leave it there and say see you soon bye